All right, from from talking fashion to talking banana bread here yeah. with Chef Julie today. Yep. I love talking banana bread. I love talking fashion. love talking banana bread. Well, it is National Banana Bread Day. All so, right. you know, I just figured we should get into the spirit of the season yeah. and, uh, and put some together. Now, you have a very special take on banana bread that you're calling Chunky Monkey. I'm call yeah, just to have some fun with it. I'm, yeah. I, I like to add chocolate chips to my banana okay. bread and some walnuts. And this recipe actually, well, it's not in the joy of cooking, but the base <laughs> of it is. Okay. And so, anyway, if anybody needs a, it's a big, thick book, but this is my favorite cookbook. I think but it just covers a lot. Full of recipes. It is. Yeah. So I kind of took the base of their recipe and mm -hmm. kind of played with the flavors and twisted it a little bit. So we'll get into that later. But let's get started. Basically, this recipe, you kind of cream things together. It's okay. not an oil based one. So I've got butter and sugar I've already creamed together in All here. Right. And then I've got two eggs that are slightly beaten. Okay. And I'm going to let you pour in our flavoring. That's a okay. teaspoon of Excuse me. A teaspoon of rum flavoring. Okay. And Not vanilla. Not a teaspoon of rum. Rum <laughs> no. flavoring. Well, you could use well, real rum, go. and that'd be fine. Now, this is special, and we'll talk more about this later. Is my bananas? I got a cup of mashed bananas here, but we're gonna. I'll, 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 I will give you all a little, little tip later on. Okay. About how you can do that. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna mix this together, which won't take long. But banana kind of bread wet. is such a tradition. I don't care what part of the country you come from. There is a version of banana bread. And there's bread all there. kinds, yes. like the, the one in the joy of cooking, they actually put crystallized mm -hmm. ginger in it, Ooh. which is kind of fun. Okay. Nothing that wrong with crystallized ginger. That will kick it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it would kick it up a little bit, but there's a lot of ways to go. And I know everybody's everybody's got their own recipe that and, they love for it. And you know, it. I think, you know, I look back when my mom made banana bread and she always set aside a few bananas to let get super ripe. That is exactly the best purpose. way to do it. And yeah. what you can do is if you've got bananas like that and you're not ready to make banana bread, just stick them in the freezer. Yeah. You can peel them, stick them in the freezer, and that works really well. Oh, cool. Now, this is dry ingredients here. Okay. We've got a cup and a half of all purpose yep. flour. You want it to go in? Nope, not okay. yet. Not yet. Because <laughs> right, I want you sorry. to pour this in. I'm getting ahead. Yep. So, in here, what we have is. Hey, and I'll go ahead and turn that down. We've got a teaspoon of ground ginger and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. We got some baking powder and some salt. And you can just go All ahead right. and dump that in. I'll let you whisk that together. And if you go to bakingwithjulie.com, you'll okay. find the recipe and all the things. I've even got links to other stuff because there's lots of banana bread in this going oh, yeah. on out there. Lots of options. Well, banana bread is one of those things you can eat year round. You can. Yeah. It's really, it really isn't just something that, that's just yeah. seasonal. It's a good comfort food in the winter, but hey, I enjoy it too to take it in the summertime sometimes and bring it out and put a little cream cheese on it. Ooh. Yeah. That Slice sounds it good. And put a little cream cheese well, on it. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, one friend of mine, she uses hers to make French toast. Oh, yeah. So that oh, would my. be good too. Well, I'm going to put these dry ingredients yeah. in here real quick. You had you pour a little maple syrup over Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. That would be really, really good. Oh, right. Yeah, so we'll just put these in. You don't want to overbeat it at this point. Okay. Just when the dry disappears, this isn't a pizza dough that we're trying to develop okay. gluten with. Right. And we're kind of, I think we're kind of there. There it is. That didn't take long at that all. That didn't take long at yes. all, did it? And we're going to put the chunky monkey parts in here. We've got okay. we've got a, a half a cup of walnuts that are toasted. You want these? Yes, and this right. is some good dark chocolate chips. And we don't do that yet. Don't yet. I am so <laughs> getting ahead, ahead of, of yourself. I'm trying to be a good. I'm, I'm trying to be a good assistant for you. Here. But I will let you show people the pan. All right. The pan is. We're going to hold that up for our camera yeah. to see. Yeah. We got the, the overhead camera. Are you? There we go. Right there. Well, yeah. whatever. The pan is uh, where you put butter in it, mm -hmm. and then I. Sprinkle it with ginger sugar. Oh. You've made cinnamon sugar okay. before. Make ginger sugar. It'll change your world. It's just, <laughs> it is, it's delicious. It's just a, a brighter flavor yeah. than a cinnamon would be. And that's how I do it. That, it always releases really well for me when I do this. All right. And it gives a nice crunch on the outside. Well, we've got all this put together. We're going to really put it all together coming up a little later in the show. It is Chunky Monkey Banana Bread with mm. Chef Julie. And if you want to find out more, go to uh, bakingwithjulie.com. And for all the ingredients you've seen here today, go to foodcity.com.